into the daily guidance for today. All right, so we've all heard whatever you resist, it will persist. And what this means is anything that you are against, you deny, you reject, you judge as if it's not good, it will keep coming back to you so that you can re-experience it and re-experience it until your opinion or observation of it changes. So whatever you resist, especially, especially if it's adamantly, especially if there's a strong conviction with it, it will persist. It will keep coming back to you. This is what happens with thoughts. If a thought arises and you don't want to think that thought, you don't want to be on that vibration, right? You will try to reject the thought or ignore it, which that's not the proper way to do it. That's not the proper way to do it. That's working harder, not smarter. I was listening to something in Dr. Joe DeSantis. I think that's his name. Uh, he's all over YouTube. And he was being interviewed and they were talking about something. Actually, the interviewer asked him, you know, I, I keep doing this and then I feel guilty. And then I keep doing it and then I feel guilty. And like, how can I stop that pattern? How can I? And he was giving advice that actually sounds, it sounds very sound to a logical mind. It's something that can be implemented. However, it is counterproductive and I, I, yeah, I was kind of screaming at the screen, like, why is he giving that advice? That's not the best way to do it. It's almost like the same thing that they do with the law of attraction. When they give advice, when they tell you all like the secret, that book, I remember was big. The advice they're giving for you all to implement, all it does is it creates, um, it creates a business, I can tell you that. It's capitalism. It's a, it's a way to make money because they tell you, you have to imagine the feeling that you want in order for you to get it. No, that's literally, that's the end result, yes. However, that's not the proper route. All right, not to get specific. The point I'm making here if you're doing something and you feel guilty, you don't resist the guilt. You allow yourself to feel guilty. You look at guilt as not a bad thing. You look at it as like a tool to help you. So you allow yourself to sit in the guilt. You feel the guilt. Why do I feel this guilt? Where is this guilt coming from? This guilt is not bad, right? Everything is two things. It can be looked at as bad. It can be looked at as good, whatever. The fact that it's coming to you, allow it to just be. Don't reject it. Otherwise, it's going to keep coming until you allow yourself to experience it. Experience the emotions when they come up. Understand the emotions when they come up. Ask yourself, why do I feel this? If I continue to feel this, it can't be bad. It must be trying to show me something. So even if it's coming from a negative experience, the fact that it keeps coming to me makes it not bad. In this instance, I'm going to look at it as a useful tool for my growth. So I keep feeling guilt. And I think the interviewer was given the example, like he keeps eating these sugary things. And he, he knows he's not supposed to be eating these things. And like he's eating them late at night. And every time he orders whatever it is, he eats it and then he feels guilt. And then the next day he does the same thing and he feels guilt. And the next day, he, okay. The advice that was given to him was like, it was terrible. It was terrible. It was confusing. It took like 30 minutes for him to explain. And it's just exhausting, right? You're taking notes and you're like, okay, so next time it happens, I'm going to force myself to like it was just so elaborate and it, it was not 
helpful. It basically, it gave him like four more things to do. It, it, yeah, it created a business because now he will most likely need to get a life coach and then he'll need to create a system or a vision board and he would have to consume basically, right? He'd become a consumer. He has to go buy this product. He has to set up for this course. He has to, no. Allow yourself to feel guilty. I, I feel guilty. Okay. Then I'm, I feel guilty. Accept it. Accept the guilt. I'm a guilty person. I've done things that makes me feel guilty. It's not bad. Guilt is a part of the human experience. I embrace the guilt. I let the guilt set in. Now I know what guilt feels like. Because this leads you to feeling remorseful. Oh my gosh. I'm eating this. And I know that it's not good for the diet or the lifestyle that I'm supposed to be in. I know it's doing this to my body, but I love my body. So why would I do this to my body? Does that mean maybe I don't love myself as much? Well, then does that mean, you know, this? Does that mean that? And you go down, maybe it's not guilt. Maybe it's just comfort food. And maybe you're trying to ignore an actual feeling that's trying to arise. Maybe you miss someone. Maybe you regret doing something to someone. Maybe it's not actually guilt. Maybe you just need to forgive someone. Receive whatever it is that's happening. Allow yourself to feel it. Then you end up releasing it. So what would happen is you'll realize the reason I kept doing something to make me feel this is because I needed to feel this to reach this conclusion. I needed to feel this so I can go deeper into the feeling and get to the realization that I just need to apologize or I just need to let go of resentment or I just need to show myself some love or I need to, like, it's going to make you realize that it's not the surface level emotion that keeps arising. It's deeper than that. And unless you dive in deeper into whatever it is that keeps coming, it's going to keep coming. And the only way for whatever that emotion to keep coming is for you to sit and eat and eat and eat. Or it's for you to continue whatever habit you have or whatever addiction you have. And all these things are, they're temporary pacifiers. They allow you to basically numb yourself to where you don't actually have to deal with whatever it is that's arising. So as much as you keep resisting, whatever it is that you're resisting, it's going to keep persisting. Ignoring something when it comes up, trying to push it down, trying to self treat right or like trying to analyze it and no <sighs> let it be let it be why do i keep thinking about this person i thought i left them in the past why do these thoughts keep coming because there's something you need to learn about your experience with this person it doesn't mean you still want them. It doesn't mean you're calling them in. It doesn't mean that they still want you. It doesn't mean they're going to reach out. It doesn't mean that the two of you are probably going to bump into each other. N no, it means you need to let yourself feel those thoughts because those thoughts will take you into the root of the problem. It's going to take you to the root of the situation. It wants you to go into your subconscious and the way you go into your subconscious is letting these emotions, no matter how terrible they are, let them rise and let yourself feel them. This is what triggers are. You are triggered because you need to deal with 
whatever it is you are feeling whenever you have that reaction to whatever just happened. It has nothing to do with the person who triggered you. As soon as you're attacking the person who triggered you, you're, you're on the wrong course. You're resisting. Why do I have this reaction every time someone says that? Why do I feel this way every time uh, this kind of experience occurs? These are triggers. And triggers are meant to trigger you. They're meant to make you realize that you have a strong emotion about something. I recorded something and I was supposed to upload it Monday. I don't have enough space on my, on my, I guess you could say computers. Um, my, I have too much storage. I have to remove storage so that I can upload and it's, it's a mess. So I literally had to order something so I can transfer all my storage, transfer all my pictures, all, everything, my files. And I'm still sitting on this thing that I need to upload. And I know I keep saying that, but it's, um, it's, it's a lot. It's complicated. And honestly, I feel like it's happening for a reason. Okay. So yeah, if something comes to your awareness, you want to sit in it, not judge it, let it be whatever the feeling is. If it's shame, if it's grief, I'm telling you, these are the titles we give these emotions. And these are things we don't want to feel. We don't want to feel embarrassed. We don't want to feel guilty. We don't want to feel humiliated, insulted, intimidated. We don't want to feel rejected. These are things we don't want to feel hurt, lonely, miserable. We don't want to feel terrible. We don't want to feel jealousy. We don't want these feelings of uncertainty. We don't want to feel powerless and hopeless and helpless. These are coming up because it's deeper than that. That's why many people are still working from the lower chakras. They keep rejecting these lower emotions. So they're going to keep coming and keep coming and keep coming. And you need to address them. They will not just disappear. You need to let yourself feel them without judging them. We are all things and we are no things. So if you keep rejecting certain things, you're rejecting yourself. And you'll never get to know yourself. And the thing about this is that this is a humbling experience. It is the journey. It's a part of the journey. If you can't embrace the lower parts of you, how do you ever, ever, ever experience the higher parts of you? And the biggest thing also, as I get into the actual cards, as you're interacting with people, those who are doing the work, if you are doing the work, then what that means is you're working through your higher chakras. You know, your throat chakra is cleared. You've already aligned everything. So you are speaking your truth. You are seeing with your third eye, which means you see things for what it is, not what the illusion says it is. And you are also, you're enlightened, right? You're in the world. You're not of it. You understand the purpose of life or the meaning of life, or you see the bigger picture. You're not focusing on details and small little things that actually take you off course. You're not easily taken off your own path, right? You stand for something so you don't fall for anything. If you're there, which that starts with uh, your heart chakra opening, so to get to that point, you would have already succumbed to certain feelings. You would have already gotten to the point where you can express yourself clearly. You communicate your boundaries. You communicate clearly what you will accept, what you won't. You're already at a particular place in your journey. When you interact with people who are still working from the lower chakras, You, their energy, it encompasses you easier than your energy will go into them because you have already 
done that work. So you have already been them, right? So you can take on their emotions. They won't be able to take on you, yours. Like you will be more affected by them than they will be by you because you have already been them. You already see yourself as them. They don't see themselves as you. They will probably reject you and the things you're saying because they are still in, they're still separated within themselves. You have already merged yourself with their version of you. So you interacting with them will have more of an impact on you than it will on them. It can throw you more off balance than it will throw them off balance. Okay, I'm saying that to say you're going to find yourself having to use more energy if you're still in environments, like if you're constantly in environments with people who are not working on themselves. So you're going to find more of an imbalance, right? This is what people call like empathic. I'm an empath, which I wouldn't take on that label too much because that's also another trick, okay? Stop labeling yourself as things. Like, stop calling yourself an empath because you're just going to attract the narcissist, okay? That's the two opposites. Just allow yourself to be, you know, I'm working on myself. I'm getting to know myself. Let go of these labels. But what happens is their energy will, it, it will encompass you. And then you will have to now go back and rebalance. You will now have to go back and sit and recalibrate. Unless you're a pro at it and you already know what it is and you know how to, you know, if you're not one of those people that knows how to let people know what it is immediately, if you allow yourself to engage and try to explain and try to have conversations and try to get people to see your way and your point of view, this and that, you're, you're probably not actually there yet. Because a lot of these kind of energies, you're supposed to cold turkey, cut them off. And that's hard for a lot of people because of situations. You know, a lot of these people are in our immediate day-to-day -day life. But listen, even those people, you can set them straight. And I'm telling you, if you are at that point where you can do that, you need to start exercising it a little more. Silence is power. Sometimes you don't have to say nothing at all. You don't have to say anything at all. You just look, they see your face. It's done. It's telepathic. We are using too much energy on people who are not trying to embrace themselves. They're not trying to see themselves for who they truly are. They're not trying to become the authentic self. They're still wearing the costume. They're in disguise. They're still coming with, you know, falsehoods. And these are belief systems. And it's exhausting. So... Allow yourself to feel what's coming up so that it can be released. We're here to feel emotions and let it go. We feel it and we let it go. We feel it and we let it go. Okay, give me a message, please. Please give me a message. The magician, you can manifest anything you want in life. Yes, this is where we are. We're at a pivotal moment where it is actually Monday's message was right now is a good time for change. And that's where we are. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. Literally. Literally. There's a lightness with this energy too, though. Like you're at a place where you're just like, you know what? This is my life and I'm just going to deal with it. Like these are the cards that I've been dealt and I'm just going to go with it, right? There's nothing wrong with my life right now. I'm just, <laughs> I might not be where I imagine I wanted to be, but I'm breathing. I'm able to think critically. 
I'm able to realize and see things the way they are. I'm able to allow my perception to change and see things from different points of view. I'm, I'm all right. Watch things just happen for you. It's that judgment energy. I am not this. I am not like this. You are like this. I'm up here. You're down there. You don't understand. We don't just do all of that. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's just an act. See your life as a movie. Learn to observe yourself. You guys have to know how to get out of character and look at your life as if you're watching a movie. Anything else? I guess the magician is the only thing that wants to talk today. You are a magician. You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. That's the message today. That's, that's basically it. Ten of Gabriel. Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours. Trying too hard to please others. Is at the bottom. Ten of Wands energy. Too much going on. A lot of you don't have time for yourself. You are... Probably giving yourself for somebody else's dream so you're not creating your own life. Uh, when you have the tools, you have the tools. We'll get some energy oracle. But it's saying you can manifest the life you want right now. Anything here? Yeah. Hmm. Journey. Get on the journey. Go towards the light. So somebody travel is in your cards. Okay, some of you will be going through, I'm going to say changes. That's coming from nowhere. I was getting something about this last night, actually. Wow. Um... Some of you, the change will happen for you because you're just going to go with, um, you're letting your external world dictate when you have to change. So you let things that happen first and then you're reactive versus proactive. Basically, that's, that's where I'm going here. And this is how you're going to experience change. It's a storm, right? You have no choice but to change because your external environment changes. And this usually happens when you're not realizing this and then going on the journey on your own, right? You're not realizing that you can manifest what you want. It just means you have to travel and travel is just uh, figuratively, you have to leave. You have to pack your bags and go and journey within yourself. This is how you manifest. Okay. Okay. All right, that's the message. I'm going to leave it there. I hope this was helpful. I'll see y'all on Friday.